all the university officials of TNAU, all my professor colleagues and my dear students. I am here to present my guest lecture on secondary agriculture. Of course, uh, secondary, tertiary, mm -hmm. like this. Uh, it is sometimes uh, fancy to say, of course, there are a uh, large many number of farmings. Of course, ultimately the goal is productivity, sustainability, soil health management, ecological balance. We all know it. Your secondary agriculture, why this issue came or why we have adopted or we initiated this work after you know, this USA people have started this kind of thinking when there is a surplus production of soil. This is another issue. So 10,000, more than 10,000 years back of agriculture history is with the uh, Indian uh, continents, but uh, we are here to present the secondary agriculture. Of course, secondary agriculture is not uh, new in my view. Of course, as uh, HOD has opened, we are increasing the value of uh, product by biopodification or making uh, some branding certification and grading and other things. Ultimately, we have included this kind of thinking in uh, integrated farming system. When we fail to attain the sustainability in uh, research on individual crop, commodity, breed and other things, once agriculture goes on system mode, then only you will bring the sustainability, especially in countries like India, tropical countries. That we thought, uh, but still in IFS, by product or uh, we can say waste of one enterprise, acts as input for other enterprise, all these things, thinking we have done it. But again, it is in the different form, secondary agriculture. Of course, the global population, 9.12 billion already were across in China. Of course, it is a good sign if we consider youth force of India, it is a bad sign we fail to provide the infrastructure for the development of the country. All those things are there in my mind. We have to either increase the productivity. Of course, we have reached the statue in the sense that though we are in the shortage of two to three million ton of pulses, five to six million ton of ice seeds, again, we are talking much about natural farming or intensive natural farming, considering the, some of the principles of organic farming, low budget natural farming, big agriculture, KVY, all those things, uh, now it is the time to think another issue, product, byproduct, intermediate product or waste. Either the value of these has to be increased or its huge efficiency has to be increased or it has to be sold at, or at higher price at national and international market. This is the view here. Of course, uh, Dr. Ashok Dalwai, who was alumni of uh, U.S. Darwad, presently CEO of uh, Rainfed Authority, is working for uh, central government. He delivered his lecture on one occasion, Darwad. So, of course, we are knowing secondary agriculture in different way. He has inspired and motivated all of us who started that kind of proposals in the form of uh, research and other things. Here, we are trying to emphasize how agriculture can be classified into three categories. Under any circumstances, we are not in a position to get confusion because man was a hunter, nomadic, started with natural farming. Then he has put some fertile soil in the sense that cow dung, we excrete of birds. There, the plant growth was there, better growth of plant. Then he brought that soil, that is one kind of organic farming. Later, production has to be increased. He has supplied artificially means uh, from the outside source. Then it is one kind of integrated. When we tried and adopted, we have not given much emphasis on the physical properties, biological properties of soil. Then it has turned as intensive chemical farming. Then we are realizing the negative impacts of the green revolution or uh, unscientific way of uh, uh, this scientific technologies. But later, we are thinking here, Agriculture, okay, different types of agriculture. Means agriculture is only one, but looking to the situation, looking to the availability, looking to the practicability, we should choose. But in some of the cases, there is a glut or surplus production. In some of the cases, we are wasting under any circumstances, it is very difficult to get back 
the organic sources under this circumstances this agriculture can be classified into three categories primary secondary tertiary primary agriculture we all know it is a crop cultivation from natural resources of course natural resources means under any circumstances looking to the threshold level of the microorganisms those are very much required either to convert urea into n or organic matter into n that we all know once we have lost that uh, balance we are facing the problem natural resources here you considered in that way secondary agriculture comprises of manufacturing or processes that add value to the raw material see fom compost enriched compost vermi compost biofortified vermi compost again some organism some micronutrients just to increase the nitrogen use efficiency whenever we are unable to provide the requirement of the crop with respect to nutrients then we have to increase the use efficiency of the waste in that way tertiary sector includes processes related to business perspective it is still far away then uh sunrise sector of indian economy of course it is very easy to deliver lectures with fancy words but in real sense if you are quite competitive and capable of adopting your thinking or thought provoking ideas into the practice then only it will influence you but we will try we have initiated uh, some projects in our university here manufacturing or process that increase the value of primary agriculture operations of post production it is a continuation of the uh, primary agriculture village of secondary agriculture nurseries of course uh, we have studied all these things uh, but we have classified in different way bio pesticides yes we are producing in our institute of organic farming every year 50 lakh rupees worth of four in bio insecticide and four bio fungicides we are selling only again what we have to do there heat tolerant species we have to isolate like dr swaminathan foundation bio village is there they are isolating salt tolerant pseudomonas species in the sea area see we have to isolate identify isolate and multiply those species then only these bio pesticides work uh, under uh, in a dry zone situation see, because they are mentioned there these are working for this one below 25 degree centigrade temperature or above 80 percent of humidity whether these bio pesticides are working in my area in dry land we have to think so we have given this kind of uh, researchable issues in my recent meeting then bio fertilizer in india 60 percent of the bio fertilizers produced for powdered palm or liquid bio fertilizers they are uh, before, below sub uh, optimal level it is a comment so it should be very cautious agro processing units fruit and vegetable processing again uh, domestic market is uh, difficult because of our poor purchasing power micro small and medium enterprises bee keeping agro tourism bio product utilization waste utilization nothing is new here these are all there already there in ifs when ifs is not getting gear up because of number of hurdles uh, we are trying to do in different way towards uh, Uh, doubling the income again by giving uh, more emphasis or more clarity to the adjusting this situation okay the word secondary has an impact on climate change adaptation and mitigation of course global warming climate change change everyone is knowing it is all because of deforestation see tree of course uh, i was uh, talking with uh, dr swaminathan sir sir we are killing so many things but in my area no tree nothing only for uh, no uh, recovering of the uh, hotel bill uh, they are telling uh, uh, the trees in my area thailand everyone know the importance but uh, everyone is desperate no one is interested the stray cattle it is very difficult to establish a live and tree also how we have to protect the trees or uh, protection everything we have discussed but the uh, sir has told them sir we should not worry in that way necessity is the mother of innovation the situation will come there is no alternative if we don't uh, think of that line no science will come to our uh, rescue this is always nature is great if any man goes beyond the nature the nature will take care being a scientific community we can intervene to certain extent we can alter or modify or refine but not to the greater extent that uh, exploit the ecology okay the term secondary next step activity or higher level of operations goal of doubling farmers income this technical advisory committee on secondary agriculture was formed by planning commission in 2007 this assembling ripening cleaning grading sorting drying preserving packing and storing all these aspects are to be taken care of course we have touched these issues in different way storage and other things but now the emphasis like mission on oil seed we have done some progress 
uh, blue revolution like that we are thinking so much on secondary agriculture our income our aim is to enhance the income to an extent of 2 to 4 percent whatever it is there now either product or intermediate product or by product or waste that has to be evaluated as uh, sir has opined okay then in india 8 to 10 percent of the total agriculture produce undergoes valuation only 8 to 10 percent is this is the alarming because in european country and other things more than 30 40 50 percent of the uh, agriculture produce undergoes valuation the highest valuation is seen in milk and lowest in case of fruits and vegetables in india fruits and vegetables are the rich source of minerals and vitamins but uh, it is the highest uh, lowest in our country the low valuation is attributed to the non availability of processable varieties of raw materials seasonal nature of production lack of awareness and knowledge lack of adequate post harvest infrastructure such as all those things you know our country had achieved satisfactory progress in primary agriculture but for doubling of farmers income there is a need this implementation of secondary agriculture is a boon to indian economy as we predicted and such kind of thinking is going on wherever there is surplus production thinking has to be done wherever the uncertainty in the yield certainty has to be done ultimately everything has to be used in a proper way then scope for secondary agriculture in india immense quantity of production adequate labor and facilities of course we are saying adequate labor again in the discussion labor is there but labor is not for the agriculture see even my students are not interested they are, they are using kurpi and could go very initial tools what we are using in crop production course now we have to attract the rural youth in this way there are only 185 working days in 365 days remaining period semi employment or unemployment that has to be attracted something we have to do in the remaining part because 80 million uh, land holdings are less than 2 hectare and this circumstance is providing employment attracting the rural youth Now, even agriculture graduate towards agriculture only with the help of production improvement and protection it is not possible that's why we have to think of these things so that the people get attracted and government job or private job or limited so one has to survive how he has to survive this may be the better answer for future problems in my view all these things i have listed here then again the bifurcation primary processing secondary processing tertiary processing it is self explanatory this much we are doing it here but uh, complex processing technologies in futures i uh, cottage industry mahatma gandhi has dreamed but uh, for industrialization we have to compete with the other countries developed countries yes we have neglected to certain extent but middle people medium middle men they are getting the more benefit between producer and consumer these things have to be done at our place only then producer will get the profit farmer our consumer middle class people will get the profit only certain intervention for our rural youth small scale industries with uh, zero interest so that we can uh, reform or we can transfer the things in a better way it is our thinking then examples of secondary agriculture enterprises any form related activity that use the land of labor or, be, or or labor beyond the kari pravi seasons income generation activities again a uh, paddy straw fodder rocks crop rescue brickets crop preconditioning for markets all these things have to be done because i am purchasing jagri at the rate of 15 rupees alaisna sir action action nahi lagane bahut kam speak sir agri science ko jo na dal se lagane wala sir okay sir ऑलिंग्स just uh, it is listed here avenues of secondary agriculture value addition to primary agriculture we all know alternate enterprises enterprises that use crop residues and weeds of primary agriculture again south is here then value addition to primary agriculture production systems again activities post harvest segments the, the same thing has been repeated these are the avenues related to primary processing input harvest after harvest and post harvest these are the inputs nursery vermicompost bee biopesticides agro tourism 
micro and small enterprise in summary conditioning produce, then crop nursery enterprise. It is going on, but we should be choosy in selecting the in nursery, looking to the demand and varieties, which can address the uh, problems. And cattle feed production enterprise, this is also important because we're not getting enough quantity of green or dry fodder under yes. these circumstances, feed production enterprise. And alternative enterprises, these are just three or four uh, examples. Avenues for alternative enterprises, beekeeping. One man from uh, Western Ghat area in Karnataka, he is now crore, one crore business. Prime Minister Modi has uh, intervened, uh, in, uh, talked about him in his uh, Manaki Bath. He's just a PUC man, but uh, his uh, turnover is now one crore in beekeeping. Everywhere beekeeping is gaining popularity, even in dry land with the sunflower and Niger crops, in the Western Ghats, in the wild forest. Everywhere now people are understanding these things. Like that, so many aspects are there. Yes, there are certain limitations where to choose a better enterprise or better thinking at a better, you know, required or uh, adaptable places. That is the, that there our vision of life. Then this is bee farming, then sericulture, then hydroponics, then biogas plant, then enterprises that use crop residue and waste of primary agriculture, make use of residue and waste of various field crops, horticulture crops. You, we all know these things. Here we have listed cotton stock products, uh, dung blocks, and uh, biogas, leather extracts, etc. Anything, whether it is industrial waste or uh, any factory waste, it has to be even including the uh, sewage water, carrier burn waste, you have to detoxify and make use of it. Under any circumstances, so that a conversion process should not be costier. These should be a little bit economical, those we have to think, banana fiber products. Then case study, of course, here I have given only one case study. One Western professor, Dr. Priya, she is, uh, you know, intervening as an economist in this uh, uh, Project means biofuel industry has established in Hanuman Mati and one agriculture college under U.S. Darwa. She has intervened. She came to know within eight to ten years what production, intermediate production uh -huh. is there. What is the value like that? <laughs> then this is the, uh, you know, from our side it is the, this one, capacity of the unit, Pangemia Pineta, main product biofuel. How she is interacting, decorticator so, to separate Pungamia seed from parts, 30 to 35 kg seeds obtained. 3 kg of seeds is required to extract aisle. But what she will do, 700 ml of biodiesel is produced. This is the history we present. Then, trans esterification process. If pre fatty acid level is below, then it is all there. But she is interfering in branding and in certifying, in adding flavor. And she is enhancing the value or uh, this uh, price for that uh, product. These are soap, it is there. It is at a very cheaper rate. So by uh, blending the color or uh, flavor, she is making uh, to double the income like that. 300 gram of food glycerin is produced during conversion of one liter oil into biodiesel. Four to five soap can be prepared from one kg crude glycerin used for animal wash. Cost of soap is 10 rupees per piece now. Now, certification, purification, distillation, ion access, all these things, and branding need to be done. This we have to see, we have to present the things in a presentable way. Of course, we are doing the work, we are producing, but to get our, to touch the market price and attention of the this one, and also other aspects, this is required. Then floor cleaner, they are selling at three, just at, uh, uh, rupees 10 per liter. But it doesn't mean that we have to sell at higher rate, we have to add the value, and we have to get the money for our effort. After separating crude glycerin from biodiesel, biodiesel is washed with hot water to remove excess glycerin. During water wash, white soap oil is coming out as byproduct, which can be used as floor. Here, certification and branding of floor cleaner need to be done. See, most of the time, even my childhood, I was thinking, everyone was saying, think globally, act locally. But now, uh, you yeah, think uh, locally, uh, but you act uh, globally. Uh, then, uh, one liter of phonium oil. Okay, this. This year we are intervening. Even cake uh, is uh, eight rupees per kg vermicompost. This uh, doesn't have any adverse effect on the worms. Okay, benefits of secondary agriculture. Again, whatever I have explained, all these things were understood. It is understood to you. Okay, here shifting of money from urban to rural areas. So 
for so many years uh, urban people are getting rich but uh, rural areas if you start uh, like thinking at a lower uh, uh, investment so we can get get the better results finally conclusion is generating income and employment for farming household in village areas to achieve the objectives of sustainable development and doubling farmers income implementation of different enterprises under secondary agriculture is most necessary it is the complement of primary agriculture operations at farm level money can flow from urban areas to rural areas so that we can avoid the shift of rural yes from rural areas to urban because it is happening everywhere that helps in development of rural households at the demand of nutraceuticals and value added products is increasing in the market there is immense scope of secondary agriculture in the country now people are aware omega 3 fatty acids they will not go for fish or this one they will go for linseed in our area transformation is going on but that has to be brought in a, this one attract to this one finally new policies and initiatives for encouraging value addition of the agriculture production in production catchment areas is required everyone knows everything only we have to apply our mind we should have a strong will uh, power to make uh, our uh, products in a better way present uh, or uh, use efficiency anything whatever uh, this is uh, from our side okay thank you for uh, patient care so uh, thank you very much sir for your uh, opening uh, and view for the secondary agriculture so which is the need of the hour so normally we are all very much interested in around the producing the production including production the first thing and now uh, the major emphasis in as far as our tamil nadu government is concerned now we are also seeing of the fpos farmers so farmers producer organizations yes. in as uh, based on the commodity based groups so that they can go for value addition because not a single farmer can do it so if a black gram is there we can they can go for a uh, polish there and then it's removed the black gram and then pack it and then they can go for uh, so the things are now happening in the fpos and the major criteria for our farmers as you also have pointed out is the storage yes sir that is the major yes, like no cold storage is, which is available mostly for the fruits so we get the australian apples which is supplied even during the off season which is being stored for nearly more than 6 months so the cold storage and also the packing so yes. nowadays latest uh, technologies are there for vacuum packing where the self life can be also used. so that also is coming in a great way of the packaging in the secondary agriculture and also as you insisted branding is of much importance so nowadays we can see in amazon and flipkart whatever the product is there which is being exhibited very attractively in the photography so the photography and the branding through uh, and now many products are also now they are also coming in way of uh, getting in touch with the flipkart for the for marketing so that reaches the completely the international level so they they no need to have any support of the outlet and then it can reach the whole market so that is also now being done so uh, then we also so many very 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 yes as what you are doing it likes ministry and the very compost value addition so you have been start up with this uh, so a very good uh, initiative so now is for discussion so oh, thank you dr kadanagiri for the nice suggestion so so recently there are two types of industries floated based on agriculture one is agro based industry okay the other one is agri based industry the reason comes of this that okay. they say agro based agri based agro based means all the materials produced from that industry is used for farming to for farming for farming okay. agri based industry is one which uses all the products from the farm as a raw material okay. all your things are you know, waste food grain everything is used value added and converted and so this is agri based so, broadly com- commerce group has classified as a pro based industry agri based industry broadly these two can fit into your secondary agriculture we have primary agriculture which needs uh, input that will be from agro based industry all your products will be uh, sent to agri based industries where you can get the uh, value addition so many other things and so like so we can think of those two words also okay sir regarding pungam oil you have presented very nicely 
for your information, we have a campus at Kelikula, Agriculture College and Research Institute, Kelikula. Nearby that Kelikula campus, there was a self help group run by women. They collected these trees found all along the Tamaravani river coast, river banks. They harvested the fruits, they extracted the oil, and they sold to the market in thousands of litres once by these uh, self help group women. The off late, uh, everybody is listening because the lead of the group, you know, uh, that woman moved out of the place. The place is called Sri Vaikunda. Mm. And after that, one by one, everybody left. The, now it is stopped. Ungam is a very good uh, alternative fuel. You can mix that with uh, diesel, you can run train, you can run buses. Even. And uh, off late, uh, somehow, I don't know what is uh, mishappening there, but uh, they missed. The group is closed. So it is a good initiative. You can get glycerin from that as a secondary product, which can be used for soap making. The primary product oil can be used for running. Good initiative, sir. Maybe your guidance will be there for them to come no, up. No, sir. I am uh, getting blended with your uh, interactions because so far uh, I was there in organic farming recently. I took the chairs. Uh, our in uh, Karnataka also same. A uh, few are there. One product, one district. Mango is for Darwad. Yeah. Uh, pulse. Uh, so tour is for Gulbarga like that. Yeah. Even uh, nowadays thinking is going on GI tax. Yeah, Even right. Kolapur chappals, uh, Darwad peda, Darwad bapilo, mm -hmm. like Kumta onion, like that very small area, but having a greater impact with respect to its quality and its speciality, unique nature. That's also we are thinking, sir. It is as good as patents. So, so now in Madurai we have a clear time pursuing them. Achieving sugarcane. Sir was uh, showing that uh, sugarcane morning today. Today only. So that is going to create time in Madurai, sir. Sir, uh, though Madurai we are having uh, uh, less uh, than uh, three years uh, uh, experience, all of us, uh, we have to share each other and uh, uh, we have to... You recommend our government to extend our uh, retirement age to 62. You are enjoying 62. <laughs> we get only 60. Yes, sir, they have 62. <laughs> in Karnataka, 62. For us, it is only 60. <laughs> Okay, sir, because uh, my, as a, as a son of a farmer and being belonging to middle class, in my mind, uh, always bringing the wasteland into productive, that has happened in our area. 26,000, 14,000 muddy in called. Now, irrigation, all the government, irrespective of the parties or irrespective of the MLA, they have brought, that was my, this one. Now, I am thinking uh, to attract rural youth, Rural use to agriculture. Only agriculture, they will not feel, uh, you know, car driver is, uh, you know, exhibiting his uh, status in different way. But uh, farm graduates, they are not uh, interested. It, it is natural. Even we too, if we don't have the job, that also I am thinking. But uh, uh, such kind of secondary agriculture or agroforestry or necessity or innovation may drag back us to the rural area, it is my thinking, sir. Thank you, sir. Agro-tourism, generally, generally agro-tourism uh, means uh, in our area, Dr. Korim, Korim, Dr. Korikantimur, sir, senior agronomist from ICR, yeah. he has initiated such kind of uh, tourism uh, issues in uh, Western Ghats and in Madikeri and But uh, with respect to ecological principles, crops, cropping system, different components, it is agro-tourism. But most of the time in the resort, uh, all ITBDs guys are going, that is not agro-tourism. He on should, if we enter, even though he doesn't have any agriculture background, he should understand the uh, agro-agriculture system. That kind of uh, agro-ecology tourism still uh, not developed in Canada. Good initiation has been taken, training and other things. One week, uh, if we, we go to that place, uh, you will understand starting from seed germination to harvest and other things, even up to, uh, you know, producing juice and other things. It is there, sir, but uh, exclusive, rather than this, uh, uh, you know, different types of food, different types of juice, just uh, you know, getting relaxed, not, it should not be like that. Only three or four agro tourism centers I have seen here by Darwin and Those things have to be developed. But uh, for uh, this uh, initial establishment, is, uh, that's required. But it is a journey. People are turning, at least during COVID, you all know, most of the professors, IDBT people have turned back to their native 
and they are now they are uh, investing in the development of their land, land especially soil and water conservation, pond pond hydrogenation uh, in our area. It was a dream 30 years, uh, 40 years uh, to begin to understand what is the importance of pond pond. 1986, we received the awards, uh, National Productivity Award for uh, pond pond in the uh, for dry land area like this. But after 30 years, uh, government started uh, Krishi Vanda or pond pond in Karnataka and uh, it has given very good results. Like that technology, whatever you developed or we developed, may not be suddenly they have got impacted, but this kind of uh, information is helpful to the future whenever there will be a crisis. Now, well, I was not thinking soil and water conservation measures for poor farmers. Now in Marega, even in all uh, soil and water conservation mechanical measures have established, even in my own farm, with the help of government, uh, we have done it. Like this, things are uh, going in a different way. Somehow we have to attract the youth towards agriculture. He may be farm graduate, or he may be non-farm graduate, school dropout, or rural level. But most of the agriculture sector, commerce and engineer people, engineer graduates, they are doing better than agriculture graduates. They are more precise. Uh, means uh, still there is no problem for our agriculture graduates for employment. But once our students get into their mind, definitely they will bring the changes. I am confident in that. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, interaction uh, with our students.